how would you describe the current situation of the heavyweight division in boxing? Well, you know, the heavyweight division really establishes boxing because it all starts with the heavyweights, the gladiators. And I think this fight is going to reestablish the heavyweight division. You know, we're going to have a concrete world champion. Everybody knows and loves. And uh, this is just going to make for a, a great, great night for boxing. How would you describe your era of the heavyweight division? Obviously, you had your reign up there as well, too. Uh, comparing, comparing that era with you and Tyson and what we have now with the likes of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, how would you compare the two eras? I would say that it's more, my era was more dominated by the United States, you know, American fighters, heavyweight in the heavyweight division. And now it's more so, it's... Uh, you know, more European, dominated. Uh, and this is just a fine example of uh, restructuring, <laughs> you know, getting it back into the American uh, dominance, you know, which makes it for a great competitive fight and just keeps the competitiveness solid. Do you, and obviously one of the big things in basketball, for example, is comparing eras, you know, if, if if Magic could have played with LeBron or if Bird could have played with a Nowitzki and stuff like that. How do you feel you compare in the era of heavyweights today? I tell you what, man, I'm glad I was in the era that I was in because these guys are monsters, man. You know, they made it for a harder time, that's for sure. But these guys, are, and not only are they big, they're agile, you know, very mobile, you know, can move around and uh, got the agility, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing to see the way that it has advanced. And I think tonight is just going to be a launch and springing board for to see more of that in the future. And you obviously were, and you go, you'll go down in sports history as one of the best underdog stories that ever played out. Uh, can you take me back to that night and kind of your mentality and approach in, in, in Tokyo and what, what you went through in your fight against Mike Tyson? Well, it was just total, full, total concentration, total... You know, everything was invincible. You know, I wasn't allowing anything to interfere with the, kept my eye on the prize, you know. Kept my eye on that prize, wouldn't allow anything to uh, defer me from that. You know, it was the main thing. And obviously Mike Tyson at that man point Sorry, was the... We need this as a backdrop, would you mind just shutting that way? Yeah, that's fine. Um, if uh, with, with Mike Tyson, he was obviously the most feared man in the planet. What was your mindset going into that? And as a boxer, is, do you, did you ever think that you might ha not have a chance that night? No, I felt very confident. I knew I was supposed to, I, I belonged there. I had to work to get there. I earned that, I earned that shot. You know, it was something that was uh, truly deserved. It wasn't that I was just given an opportunity to fight. You know, and obviously we have a Tyson Fury here who um, put on a lot of weight, kind of went through some of the transgressions you did, obviously, uh, once you beat Tyson. Do you think coming back from that type of damage to his body is going to show tomorrow night? No, it's going to show in a positive way. You know, that uh, come back from adversity, which he has, he's already won, really even being here, because we walk, out of all of us, there's a big, small percentage of us that would never have thought, a large percentage of us that would never have thought he would have been, been here to be coming here today to watch him fight for the heavyweight championship again. But he has, he's focused, re refocused himself, and uh, came back to become a great fighter, you know, a world-class contender fighting for the heavyweight championship. And, um, Going back to your fight with Mike Tyson, a lot has been said about that. A lot has been written and aired, and uh, we now have the 30 for 30 documentary that's going to be coming up pretty soon. What was it like to finally have a, a documentary like that to capture everything from A to Z as far as that story goes? Uh, I think it was great. You know, the show, the blood, sweat, and tears that I had to go through to endure, to get that shot, and then to go through what I had to go through leading up to that shot. It's going to be a real good, interesting, behind-the-scenes story. 
Um, did you get to connect with Mike again throughout that process? No. How is that like? Uh, that the, good. the, 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 the relationship. Great. You know, it was outside of uh, DC at autograph signing, and uh, we just talked normal about what each other were doing now, and uh, it was a pleasant conversation. I really enjoyed. It. How does how does he share that sentiment with you? With that, obviously, that was a big turning point in his career too. Have you guys had any conversations as far as like how your life's kind of changed after that night? 